Hello, welcome to my channel. Today's painting is all about distance. I wanted to show you how to get depth and distance into your paintings. And I've chosen this landscape scene with a lake view. And um, I hope that works for you. I really enjoyed painting it, I've got to say. I like working on landscapes and getting as many planes and as much distance distance and depth into the painting as I possibly can. I like to feel that you could jump into the painting and walk around and explore and have miles to go and I think I've achieved that in this painting. I started by doing a drawing on tracing paper. I usually work on tracing paper. It gives me an opportunity to make all my corrections and then it's very easy to turn it and transfer it to um, the support which in this case is 140 pound watercolour paper. I simply flipped the tracing paper over and retraced over all my lines. And since I didn't have pencil on the opposite side, you can see my painting is in reverse. I start painting at the top of the page, the sky first, and I blot out the clouds with paper towel. The distant hills are much fainter in colour, much paler, much less saturation of colour. It's as though a veil comes down every hundred yards or so. And the most saturation, the deepest colour will be in the foreground. And then as it recedes, as the distance goes back, the colour will be more faded. I used a fan brush in the foreground to put in some weedy grasses. Uh, you see that in the foreground as the ground uh, goes further away and the further away it is the less detail that you see in the painting. For the tree I used several different colours on the trunk. I used alizarin crimson, a violet and a colour that I mixed up with blues and reds to make a greyish colour. And um, for the leaves, I don't paint every individual leaf. I just splodge on the green and then drop blue into it for a shadow. I tear and tape the edges of my watercolour paper to give me a nice border. I store all my um, little paintings in a journal. It's a convenient way to keep my paintings together without taking up too much space. I went over all my lines with a Micron Waterfast pen and then I erased my pencil marks and once you've got watercolour over those pencil marks not all of them will erase so that's something to watch out for um, and I added a few details here and there when I thought that the area was particularly blank and um, I think I'm fairly happy with the result. It has what I required of it. It has distance. You could jump in that picture, run around and explore. I know you don't see much of the painting in these watercolour and pen pictures, but I hope you get something from it. So thank you very much for watching. Please, if you can find time, like, share and subscribe. That helps my channel grow. I very much appreciate it if you can do that. And thank you to everyone who's already done that. Um, that is really helpful to me. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.